you sure about this? Absolutely. Come on, this has been a long time coming. I don't think we should waste another minute. Yeah, I'm not sure it's a good idea to rush things. Hey, there's no time like the present. Come on, you're here. I'm here. We should just do it. Don't you think we should talk to a doctor? The doctor was the one who recommended it, remember? I think his exact words were, use it or lose it. What if I can't do it? It'd be so damn humiliating. Oh, no. I'm going to help you. And you're going to enjoy it. I promise. Well, I'm not sure that I can go more than one round. Well, we won't know that till we try it, right? Ready? Give me 20. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> you should see the look on your face. May I remind you <laughs> that I am a heart transplant patient? I know that. OK, let's do another set. Oh, you're a harsh taskmaster. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. Off you go. Oh, thank God for my cell phone. I knew I should have turned that off. Clint Buchanan. Clint! Hey, it's Cutter Wentworth. What the hell do you want? How would you like to get your company back? Cutter, what the hell are you babbling about? Clint? Are you, are you okay? You sound out of breath. I am just fine except for the jackass wasting my time. Clint, whatever you're doing, keep it up, because you're going to need that vim and vigor when you get back to work, thanks to me and the opportunity that I have for you. Cutter, I'm in the middle of a meeting. So whatever scheme that you're selling me this week, I'm not interested. Clint. I mean it. And not just the company. The, uh, the house, the cash, everything that Rex Balsam stole from you. I can return it to its rightful owner, safe and sound. You can? How? Check your email. Call me back. <laughs> Cutter claims he can return everything that I lost. <laughs> How does he propose to do that? Don't know. He told me to check my email. Oh, wow. That has got to be one big email. Well, it won't hurt to read it. Here it goes. OK. What's his plan? It seems he has a document signed by Rex returning everything to me. Oh, does he really? And he's willing to hand it over for a price. Of course he is. Clint, if he has a document, it's obviously a fake. Look for yourself. <sighs> Why would Rex sign that? I have no idea. But it's interesting, isn't it? No, it's not interesting. It's a scam. Like I said, it's interesting. Clint, really? You should not be dealing with that man, okay? Cutter Wentworth is a con artist. Do you remember that he sold us our own daughter when Jessica was Tess? Yes, of course I remember. Good. So, you don't want to go near that. I think it's worth looking into. You cannot be serious. You think, are you seriously considering calling Cutter back and making a deal with him? Well, why not? Rex signed the thing, didn't he? We don't know that. No, but why assume otherwise? Even if it is a very good forgery, it might hold up in court. Oh, I cannot believe you just said that. Rex is not taking very good care of the business. Now, Cord says that he is well on his way to driving B.E. right into the ground. Then let Cord deal with it. Vicky, what if this is my one chance, my only chance, to get everything back that I lost? No, I'm begging you, let this go. Please, you and Rex are finally making some progress. Yeah, well, by signing this, he obviously wants to make more progress. Oh, if he signed it, and that is a very big if, he probably did it out of grief, and if that's the case, you don't want to take advantage of him. He once took advantage of me. Clint, if that document is real, why does Cutter Wentworth have it? He is completely untrustworthy. You know that. 
All this is gonna do is cause your heart much more stress, and that is the very last thing you want. Please, please, I'm begging you. Do not call him. Just ignore this whole thing. All right, thanks, Rox. Goodbye. It's Clint. Why am I not surprised? Oh, he's trying to cash in. It's okay, I'll handle it. You sure you don't want me to stick around for moral support? Yeah, I'm okay. I'll, 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 I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Yes? I need to see you. Well, why don't you call my secretary and come into my office? Oh, wait, you can't, can you? No, Rex, I'm not at liberty to leave the house here. May I ask what this is regarding? Just get over here. I thought you were calling Cutter. I couldn't. Why not? You asked me not to. <laughs> okay, I'm here. What's this about? Straight to the point. I like that. I was just made aware of a certain document. I was made aware of it by Cutter Wentworth. Cutter Wentworth. Yeah, I'm familiar with it. What, what is that all about? How did Cutter get that? And if you signed it, why does he still have it? Did you sign it, Rex? You know what? It doesn't matter if I signed it. The truth is, I'm just trying to let everything go. Live a normal life, focus on my son. What are you saying? I'm saying I don't want your money. I don't need it. And if you want it all back, I'll give it to you. Are you telling me that you took all my money, my company, my father's house in exchange for Gigi's heart, and now you're telling me that you're offering to give it all back? I had just lost Gigi. The only reason I strong-armed you into giving me everything that you had was so I could use your money and power to avenge your death. Oh, Rex. But Gigi's gone, and she's not coming back. And you warned me, this need for revenge, it did terrible things to me, and especially to Shane. As far as the company goes... Yes? I pretty much sucked at running it. It's your company, not mine. I'd rather spend time with my kid. Are you serious? I'm as surprised as you are. This is not what I expected to do when I came over here, but... Maybe this document falling into your lap is a sign. I should have never bargained with Gigi's heart. I don't think she would have approved, so... I think it's time we just... put everything back to the way things were. All right. I'll have the necessary papers drawn up. Shane and I will be out by the end of the week. Vicky, would it be okay if Shane and I rented the carriage house again, just until we found our own place? Oh, honey, you just stay as long as you like. Thank you. Clint? Rex. Wait. I don't need my house anymore, since I can't leave this place. So that old barn that Asa built, it's just gonna stand empty. You can always sell it. Oh, no, no. I don't want it leaving the family and... Well, your family. You're a Buchanan. You're my son, and Shane is my grandson. So I was uh, just thinking you can turn over those BE shares to me and I can run the company from here and it's... As far as the investments go, well, given your track record, maybe I should hold on to those too. But I want my son and my grandson to continue living in Asa Buchanan's house. Uh, well, the truth is that that house costs a fortune to maintain. I would never be able to afford it. Yeah, no, well, since you've been doing me a favor, I will, uh, I will cover those expenses. But you and Shane, you can continue living there as long as you like. Thank you, I appreciate that very much.
you staring at me like that? practical decision. I do not want that house standing empty. And of all the people that you could have asked to live there. <laughs> well, it's logistical. I didn't want that boy to, you know, be troubled with another move. Well, you can deny it all you want. You just took an enormous step with your son. And you know it. Okay, speaking of steps, let's go finish your exercises. Just a minute. There's something I need to do. Clint! Hey, buddy. What's it gonna be? Take your document and shove it. <laughs> 